Welcome back to our YouTube channel, or my YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel? I don't really know. Look, Stella wants to be It's in. a family affair. Can you put Stella in it? You want to be in it, Stella's? <laughs> Say hi, Stella. So this vlog was supposed to be a really awesome whales vlog. It's supposed to be like a pregnancy update and a whales vlog, but let me show you what we're dealing with here. Snow <laughs> everywhere. I mean, it's not a ton of snow, but apparently it's enough snow to shut down England. Now this vlog has turned into our probably boring weekend vlog and slash pregnancy update. We are about to head to the commissary You're not going to, the to go do a grocery shopping because we haven't been able to for the last few days no, since. <laughs> Where is she? You're not going to the park. I know, it's cold outside. We haven't been able to do a grocery shop since everywhere has been closed because of the like two inches of snow. Um, so we're gonna go do that. We're gonna go to the BX to get a couple things. Oh, look at them in the background. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know I was in the background. Bye, Stubbs. Be a good girl. We'll be back soon. Alright, we're going to do... What? Turn and turn and face. <laughs> Give that attitude, girl. We're going to do a pregnancy update while we cook dinner. Pretend More weird. like while Benji cooks dinner. Yeah, so y'all can judge me how I cook. <laughs> okay, so I'm hoping you can see my bump. It's getting to be a big bump. We all day have been running around going to the BX and commissary. Stubbles, you wanna say hi? Say hi, Stubbles. No, don't watch Dad cook chicken. She wants the chicken. No, no chicken. <laughs> say hi to the camera. <laughs> All right, so pregnancy update. I'm now 26 weeks, but I guess I'm doing it for the 25 week update. This week, Elodie has grown, I feel like Elodie's gotten so much bigger because if I'm laying on my back or laying down or standing up, however, I can feel her in opposite sides. Excuse me? I'm trying to cook and you're in here <laughs> filming. So excuse me. If you wanted to be a part of it. But I can feel her on opposite sides of my stomach at the same time. I'm <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so I feel like she's getting so much bigger and it's getting cramped in there, which is a really neat feeling though. We've also been able to capture a little bit of her movements. Okay, now you're just being annoying. <laughs> <laughs> We've also been able to capture a little bit of her movements on camera, so I may add that in, just a snippet, because we've only been able to catch like one or two good shots. What else has been happening this week? I didn't have a doctor's appointment or anything. I don't know what my weight is because we don't have a scale because, I don't know, I sort of could care less. It is what it is. I'm going to gain weight. You better gain weight. If you lose weight, that's a problem. <laughs> well, I don't losing. think I'm going to lose weight. You haven't been. We eat all the time in this house. And my appetite is the same as Ben's appetite. Like, Ben will sit down and he'll have two cheeseburgers and... Now you're just making fries. it sound unhealthy. No, no. Like, last night for dinner, we had two cheeseburgers and fries and avocado. Not nah, Well, yeah. Guacamole. Yeah. Thank you. Guacamole. <laughs> um, I mean, you're half right. And what else do we have? That was it. That's right? Basically it. Yeah. But, I mean, I ate, I ate the same amount as Ben last night. That's usually most of our nights is I just eat the same amount as Ben does, which that would have never happen before I got pregnant. Chubs. So I know she's growing. She's <clears throat> kicking all the time. It seems like every night when I go to bed and I lay down, especially if I lay on my back for a little while, she goes nuts. This is the bump I've got going on. I don't know. I feel like I'll come up with more pregnancy updates later, but our day was not eventful whatsoever. I mentioned this earlier, we were supposed to go to Wales 
Unfortunately, that didn't happen because this blizzard, I guess, is just, I don't know. Because I think we would have been fine because it's really not much of a blizzard. I feel like the news is making it out to be worse than it actually is. But just to be on the safe side, we canceled our Wales trip, so we're not doing that. Hopefully sometime soon. And instead, we're just spending the weekend at home. Are you filming? Mm-hmm. Why? Because I'm filming Stubbos and you. Why? Because for the vlog. You're filming us for a vlog? Yeah. Why? Because we got in an argument and it's taken her about three, four hours to get over her grudge? Yep. She's been in a mood all day. Do you even remember why we got in an argument? I don't. You don't? It all started this morning when she stood on your belly to climb over Oh, you. yeah. So then I got mad at her and then she's been mad at me ever since. <laughs> and then she growled at you. And then she growled at me when I went to pick her up. Try to make up. <laughs> It's taken her, so what, now, four or five hours to get over, three, four or five hours, I don't know how long, since we got up, to get over being angry at me. Which is why, honestly, having another daughter, so three females in this house, is going to be ridiculous. <laughs> Stella has some serious attitude. Let me go show you guys how big my bump is right now. Alright, look how big... This bump is. I mean, I'm trying to hold my cardigan back so you guys can fully see. Does it black hide the bump? Yeah, but I feel like you can really see it because, I mean, this shirt's pretty tight. Let's see if I can get. It's really big. It's really big. Looks like it has a point on it. But anyway, so I'm trying to fit into all, all my pre-pregnancy clothes, and I can still fit into them, but they're just starting to look really frumpy now because I'm trying to cover a bump, so it's like stretching them and making the rest of me look frumpy. Now I think I need to order, I don't know what I should order. I'm thinking maybe some like nursing tank tops that I can just keep for when I'm not pregnant anymore and just breastfeeding. So they can like have a dual purpose. And then maybe some cardigans like this. Where are you at? You guys in Elodie's room? Yes. Stella would like to go to the park and is waiting for you to finish your vlog entry. Yeah. All right, well I guess we're gonna go take Stella to the park. You wanna go to the park, girl? Come here. Sit. Do your tricks. Oh. Lay down. Roll over. Good girl. Good girl. Go apart. For those of you who have not seen Stella in a while, she's learned some new tricks. I know. You want to go to the park? Okay. Come on. Let's go to the park. <laughs> hey, back up from the door. Good girl. Go down. Go down. Come on. No. No leash. You got the carrot. <laughs> you brought the carrot? What are you doing? She grabbed the carrot again. Well, why'd you stop? There's a smell. Go get the carrot. Go get the carrot. <laughs> what are you doing, goofy girl? <laughs> You 
You got the carrot. <laughs> Stella, okay. Don't eat the carrot. Don't eat the carrot. No, no. Look at those muddy paws. Stella. Uh -uh. No, don't eat the Good carrot. Girl. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Do you want the carrot again? Hey, oh. Go get it. Enough with the carrot. <laughs> okay, now it's not a toy, you're eating it, so that's enough. Ready? It's gone now, okay? Oh, uh, she doesn't think it's gone. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Where is it? Where's the carrot? Is it in the air, Stella? Where is it? Where's the carrot? <laughs> Where is it? Is it up there? Where is it? <laughs> she keeps looking up to the sky. Uh, oh! Look at them coming to run and play with you. Aww. I do not have any idea where I left off with the vlog during the weekend. Um, I was trying to do a weekend vlog and it just it was like random be bits and pieces of our weekend. It's now Monday, so I'm technically 26 weeks and three days, I guess. We are now three months away from Ellie's due date. Today is March 5th, I believe. So that means that in three days, we will be three months away from her due date. So that is so, so exciting. But when I went to the post office today, one thing that I did pick up was my breast pump. So, I don't know how exciting this is for you guys, but for me, I'm pretty excited about this breast pump. Especially because, thank you to TRICARE, and thank you to Ben for being in the military. We did not have to pay anything for any of this. So I figured I would do a little opening reveal of the breast pump while on camera. If this doesn't end up very interesting, I apologize, and I may delete it out. Let me see what's in this box. The cool thing about TRICARE and the breastfeeding shop is that I got more than just a breast pump. I'm planning on nursing Elodie for probably at least the first six months of her life, but I'm sure it will go longer. I'm hoping and praying that everything goes smoothly with, with breastfeeding um, on her end and my end. I know it can kind of be a game and a rhythm that you have to find and everything like that, um, and I know it can be very painful and stuff from what I've heard and read about. So. Obviously, I'm hoping everything goes smoothly and that we don't have too many issues um, because I would really like to breastfeed her for a while. But that being said, I definitely did a lot of research on this breast pump and I decided to go with the Spectra S2. I think it's one of like the top of the line breast pumps. Um, if you're paying out of pocket, I believe it's about $300. <laughs> so it's not, it's not cheap. But I've heard great things about it. And I ended up going with the older version. So I think it's the S1. Yes, I did go with the S1. Um, I, went up, I went ahead to go with the older version. And that was only because the S1 has a rechargeable battery. Whereas the S2 does not. It has to be plugged in. And with Ben and I being in a different country, um, and we're planning on traveling a lot once Elodie gets here, hopefully, once obviously she's a couple months older. But um, we obviously want to travel, whether it be back to the States or just around Europe, or even just to go visit family up north in England. Um, I wanted to be able to take this breast pump in the car, on the plane, um, anywhere that may not even have a plug to be able to plug it in and pump wherever and not have to worry about that. So that was a huge bonus for me. That is why I went with the S1. You need to go out, Stella. Hold on. Pup needs to go out. Alright, so hopefully she doesn't run out the gate. We have um, our whole backyard is fenced in except for our side gate. It's fenced in, but it has like holes, and because she's small, she can still fit through them. So if she sees dogs or people walking by, she freaks out and wants to go say hi and meet them. The only thing that I liked about the Spectra S2 a bit more, which this doesn't even matter, it's just me being a girl probably, 
But um, the Spectra S2 is like a light pink and the S1 is like a light blue. So the light blue isn't bad, but I like pink better. <laughs> so that was the only downside, but is that really a downside? Probably not. Okay, so we have the bottles. Oh, look how cute they are. Oh, I don't have any baby bottles yet, so this is so cute. I love getting stuff for Elodie because it just makes me think about her being here and uh, makes everything more real. Look how cute they are, but the bottles are pink, so that's a plus, right? I think so. Aww. Well, so we got, I have two sets of these, the bottles. I honestly don't even know what all these parts are. I need to like look into this and read the direction probably because, hey, first time mom, I know what a breast pump is and I know how to, I know like the process, but I don't know all these little things. So I have two packs of these. I keep checking on Stella, making sure she doesn't run anywhere. So here's the other pack. I'm not going to open that right now. Spectra in general, whether you get the S1 or S2, is that it is dual voltage. So when you do need to charge it, or if you get the S2 that does not have the rechargeable battery, you don't have to worry about traveling with it um, because it works forever. Which since living overseas, I realized that anything dual voltage is like a godsend because it makes life so, so much easier because then you just have to buy one thing and not worry about it. You don't have to go back and forth between 220 or 140 volts. And the breast pump. Ooh. So it's pretty lightweight, I mean, for a breast pump, for an automatic breast pump. It's pretty lightweight. Um, turns on. I wasn't expecting to turn on. So I also heard that on these you can choose different cycle or different like rhythms or cycles, which is cool because which is cool because obviously every woman is different. Um, and so it kind of, you can adjust it to how your body reacts best to that pumping style. Um, so that's obviously something I'm going to have to play around with later on. But it also has a nightlight, which I don't think the S2 does. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's a nightlight right, right under here. And it looks like it has two settings. So that's the dim one and that's the bright one, which is awesome for, I'm sure, in the middle of the night feedings and everything. I just have to stop my camera and then play it again because I'm not sure if it was recording. I'm hoping it was. I'll check it out later, if not, and go back. But, um, yeah, so I'm really excited about this system. Obviously, they only give me one bottle, and you can get a starter kit. The starter kit comes with, obviously, another one of these and nipples. This only has one nipple with it, so I'm going to need, like, the, sl the slow, medium, and fast nipples. Um, to interchange them as she gets older and everything else. And then also comes with like a little storage tray to freeze them in and a um, warmer so you can just plop these bags in and warm up the milk. And then also more, I guess, like shells. So that starter kit I still need to get. But then also for when your baby gets a little bit older, they have the food system, which is basically the same thing. You can make your own baby food from home, put it in these bags, freeze it, and then um, it comes with like a little spoon and everything, and you can just feed them straight from this bag on the go or wherever, which is also awesome. I really want to get that once Elodie's a little bit older. I'm very excited to have gotten my breast pump and all of its supplies. I'm going to have to play around with it a little bit more and then Obviously, it'll probably just sit for the next few months until Elodie gets here, and then I will be able to do more of like a review on it and see how I like it. Through the breastfeedingshop.com, I can also reorder um, twist pouch bags, either the canned ones if I want those, or the Lanisol ones for free starting, I think, 30 days after Elodie's born. Every month, I can reorder just free ones, um, which is, again, awesome. Yeah, I don't think I have any more pregnancy updates as of right now. I feel like I sort of touched on it in the earlier clips. 
Um, LED's moving a ton though. I'm still having back pain, but honestly, my second trimester has been going super well compared to my first. That having a little bit of back pain, if that's the only thing I'm having to deal with, I can deal. <laughs> I'm just, you know, putting heat on it, I'm trying to do stretches, um, you know, kind of laying low when it really starts to bug me and having Ben rub my back, which which that is all helping. It's nothing that I need to um, take medicine for or anything like that. Once in a while, I'll take a Tylenol for it if it gets really bad or is really aggravating me, but um, most of the time, I say no to the Tylenol and I just kind of work through it and use the other ways. So thank you again for watching this vlog. I'm sorry this is a couple days late um, because obviously I'm 26 weeks and a couple days and this was supposed to be like a 25 week pregnancy update. I don't feel like anything's really changed from 24 weeks to 25 weeks to 26 weeks except that I'm bigger. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and hit the little bell button to get notifications of when I post more videos because I'm going to try to be more regular about it and keep posting more videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.